And we're going to go back for just a moment and we're going to look at who God is. You have heard it sung in songs and probably preached in sermons that God is holy. You've also probably heard that God is righteous. He is a righteous God. You've also read that God is love. Now, here's some things that you need to understand. God's attitude towards sin and God's attitude toward the sinner. Because God is holy, God is good, God is righteous, God is love. God hates sin. He hates it. He's not neutral about it. No, he hates it in a way that you and I could never begin to describe. And we can see the hatred of God for sin throughout the Old Testament and in the New, especially in the book of Revelation, in which God judges not only sin, but also the sinner. We are all aware that the Bible teaches that one day God will return. Christ will return and he will judge the wicked. And the wicked will experience something called the wrath of Almighty God. Wrath refers to God's fierce anger, even his hatred poured out on the wicked. Now, how does that work? Because in one place we understand that God is righteous and God will judge the wicked. And in another place we hear that God is love and slow to anger. So how does that work? Well, here's what I want you to see. God hates sin and God's wrath, fierce anger, judgment, holy hatred, indignation will be one day be poured out on all the wicked. But here's the way it's working now. God looks at our world. He even looks at your sin if you are outside of Christ and it fills him with indignation, anger. Why? Because he's good. Because he's holy, because he hates that which is evil. But in his mercy, God restrains his wrath. He holds it back with one hand and with the other hand, God calls you to come to him. That's the mercy of God. Because of your sin, you should be judged now. You should die now. You should experience the wrath of God now. But God in his mercy is holding back judgment. He's holding back his wrath. And with the other hand, he is calling to you to come, come, be saved, be saved, be saved. But know this one day, whether it's in the second coming of Jesus Christ or in your death, God will pull back his hand and no longer invite he will pull back his hand and his wrath will be poured out on you for every evil thing you have done. Now you say to yourself, I don't like that. I don't believe God's angry. I don't believe that God pours out wrath. I don't believe in righteous indignation because I believe God is love. Well, here's what you need to understand. God is love. And because of that, God hates let me give you an example. Do you love babies? If you do, you must hate abortion, that which kills them. Do you love Africans? Then you must hate slavery. You see, if you truly do love, you truly will burn with anger. If you love that which is excellent, that which is beautiful, that which is right, you will hate that which is twisted and immoral and dangerous and violent and destructive. 